Hi, my name is Hong Chen Lim. You guys can call me Hong. I'm a senior character artist in Overwatch team at Blizzard Entertainment. I got the internship um, at the school. That was my first 3D job where I did um, 3D character modeling, rigging, and animation. It was a VR company. Uh, but I'm talking about VR in back in 2004. They still existed, but it was very new and it was new to me too. So it was a really interesting project. And because of a um, small number of team members, I got to try everything and I had to finish things on time. So after finishing the internship, I had a better and good understanding of what productions want and what how they work. Um, because I touched up a lot of different areas, 3D modeling, riggings, animation, I knew I really in, I'm really into modeling, 3D modeling. I tr started to applying to the jobs and then I landed on um, um, working on Superman Returns back in 2005. I was looking for something longer term pr project such as MMORPG since I was into uh, World of Warcraft and stuff. Luckily enough, uh, I got hired in Carbine Studios back in 2007. I went there as a hired as a 3D character modeler, uh, working on Wildstar for seven and a half years. So I believe Wildstar was the um, first game that really helped me as a define myself as a stylized character artist. I got influenced by multiple artists there, especially Corey Loftus, who was a lead character concept artist. I started really, really enjoying creating 3D character art, uh, stylized character art. So I think that was the first project that really helped me recognized in the game industry. After that journey is over, Overwatch was the next game I got to work on. From 2015, I'm working in the team as a character artist. It's definitely amazing and it's fun because you are creating for myself, like I'm creating 3D characters um, that is in very unique style. And it's really rewarding to see the character you work on is actually running inside of the uh, imagined 3D world. Every character creation has their unique word and style and personality. And then for my job, showing their characteristic and background and everything within their visual is very important. I feel very um, satisfied and successful when I get the feedback from the community saying the character is matching or character feels good with the person's background. I get a lot of inspiration by reading books, reading manga, watching anime, watching movies, watching dramas, TV shows, all, the, all sorts of stuff um, gives me inspiration. If I talk about like a fine arts level, I will talk about definitely Van Gogh and Salvador Dali. I think I like Dali's work because it's very unique and it's like really beyond thinking of um, like the subject we see. I love Van Gogh's art because he is not only creative artist, but he really lived his life with art. He digests the Japanese art, the printing art, into his own creation in his style. And he made it something new. So I really respect that. My musical background is um, definitely coming from playing band in high school, which helped me um, being in the community and be with the friends and playing music. Blink-182 was definitely one of them who gave me a lot of influences back then. And then also Green Day. Music is part of art as well. And I really want to express that. I asked our 
uh, character director Arnold Sang if he wants to do music with me. We've been doing this together for about two, three months now. And for us, playing music together and then editing and put it up in the YouTube, it's really fun. We call The Pendulum. We write original songs yet. We are just a little bit shy to show that yet. But we do, we did a lot of covers, such as like Foo Fighters, Smashing Pumpkins. We don't have a lot of followers, but it helps me think differently and creatively in different ways. Being a production artist doesn't mean that you're keeping up your artistic vision as a single artist. It means that you receive other people's feedback and you apply those and you collaborate to make your work look better and help whole team. I think it's still opportunity for you to learn other people's perspective. I take that opportunity to learn more things. And then I think that helps, those feedback helps me to grow up as a single artist. I think that's the mindset I have. And I think that's the mindset as a production artist should have. You cannot satisfy everybody either. So there will be always feedback, but instead of like a, um, feeling blocked or like rejecting those feedback, I think it really opens up your mind and accepting those. There will be definitely uh, up and downs and there will be um, people who helps you and do another another way, but don't give up and just keep doing what you're doing. You'll definitely find the way.